Our excursion to Mazeppa Bay continues. And to top it, the lovely stay at Mazeppa Bay Hotel. Now, especially on the island, this spot never ceased to amaze me. With all the diversity of species and all the different things you see every time you come and visit. Today I was christening the 14 foot 6 Saltus Grinder Elite. And quickly a barbel jumped onto my bait. One of the drone anglers were quickly into a decent fish. We expected that the raggies will still be around. Another decent sized raggie showed its face. Again, I want to put an emphasis on handling these fish. Make sure there's water around when you take them back to the sea. Andrew has done this for years and has proven himself over and over again. Shortly after, Dean really got some serious interest. More than five minutes, onto a proper fish now. This is definitely not a raggy. It's taking a hell of a lot of line. Well, uh, I hope it's not a raggy. I don't think it's a raggy. Let's check that. Watch that drag on that salty guy. It's super smooth. Two hundred meters of five two uh, Daiwa tournament. Almost into the backing, and there goes the back. Put a little bit more brakes on there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Fish has gone out about still taking life. Probably about 500 meters out now and still going. Not a happy chappy. Oh, put brakes. And it's not stopping. So, yeah, I don't know. Eh? One thing was for certain this was not going to be a quick fight. Dean also being a Protea angler takes his time and you can see the years of experience reflecting in the way he approaches the fight. At this stage we could see it was a really big fish, either a big grey or a big bronze whaler and as an angler you can't always be in control, especially with fish this size. This fish used its sheer size and experience to go around the rocks and far too quick for Dean to follow in time. Nothing nice about losing such a big fish, especially after seeing the sheer size. The fish was actually hanging around for a short while, 
and the guys went to look and see if it's maybe not stuck on the rocks. It swam away head held high shortly after. Eventually got it in the front and there's a point there. And just trying to get it in the train. Fish went around the point and uh, I got cut off on the bus over there. The fish was hanging around for a while and then he swam off. Looked like a like a 150 kilo, probably a grey or a bronzy. So oh, that's that's how it goes, huh? You win some, you lose some. So time to put another bait and get another pull. Okay, Andrew spotted some uh, Andrew spotted some anchovies that washed into a pool there by the rocks. There's big shoals of anchovies. And this is what they look like, guys. Lovely little fish. We caught a couple of them in the pool there by hand. And to put this with a bit of chocker for a for a cob. It's gonna be a deadly bait. Some sushi. Andrew wants to eat it. Wants to eat it. Eh? Yeah, it's full of nonsense, it means. <laughs> this is good, it's sushi. Sushi? Take the tail off. They're not nearly as salty as the ones we get in the bottles. All right, viewers, uh, we're going to try something a little bit different now. The water is cleaning up a little bit. So, according to our guide, our resources, should I say, there is a reef about 350 meters out just in front of the island. So, uh, the plan is to drop an drop a octopus on top of that reef. And hopefully, uh, we can uh, maybe get an edible. Probably a copper steel brass or maybe a punzi. So uh, we're going to use the Saltus 8000. We've got 50 pound, well 48 pound cobra braid uh, top shot and 600 me uh, meters 50 pound backing. So there's 900 meters on here. So that should be sufficient to try and stop or land whatever's lying out there. We did put a, we, we did do some cable just in case we do hook into a shark, so we still have a chance to land that. So yeah, let's see how it goes. We're gonna take the bait out with a drone. Uh, we've got our pilot ready for us there at the back. So let's do this. objective was to try and not hook a reggae at this stage and see what other species I could lure to my bait. I decided to put together something different maybe.
Quite excited to hook another fish on the grinder setup. I must say, the Saltus Grinder Elite gave me quite the backbone I needed to really pull this fish hard. After all, that was the objective was to test these rods to full capacity. This particular gully on the front right of the island is rather difficult to get a fish in because it's got so much suction with the water. To all anglers out there, please take note that Andrew is very, very experienced on these rocks and this should not be attempted by any angler as this could result into something very dramatic. I was very pleased to see that it was a big thorn tail. Another PB for me on the Grinder Elite. Zeppa Bay, anything can happen. These fish are super strong and can keep you busy for hours. I made short work of it with this rod. Try and keep movement to these fish to the minimal to ensure a safe release. Okay, well, that was my first thorn tail here with my Zephyr. Uh, first thorn tail ever, and it took the whole octopus. And an awesome fight, nice, strong fight. It gives you carrots here when it go, gets close because it's using the water as well, the surge. But really awesome fight on the Saltus Grinder 8000 and the new Saltus Elite Grinder Rod now it's properly christened the Bronzy and now the Big Thorn Tail It just tripped and started coming forward Well, uh, there we go Drop that bait with the drone Something Team getting his first fish on the Grind Elite 15 foot. One thing's for sure, we're going to see a lot of big and great catches on these roads. Right, so uh, eventually we're going to put on that Aki and uh, yeah, I seem to be, oh the fish doesn't feel too big. But the salt is 8,000. I've got uh, 50 pound backing and uh, 48 pound uh, 300 meter cobra bait top shot. So, uh, so Andre got 
got that nice uh, thought tail about that is about 10 minutes ago. So also the same reel, same setup, same grade. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this one out. There we go, you saw the fresh Oki. Did you survive? It's a smooth honor for about 20 odd kilos. Good fish for this, for this area. Uh, I haven't seen much come out, yeah?